Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Today, we're going to be talking to you about <laughs> the bus topology. <laughs> now to familiarize you with the bus topology network. This is the trunk cable or main cable. It connects all the drop cables to the main cable. Now these are the drop cables. They connect the nodes to the main cable. These are the nodes. They're all connected together in the network. These are things you use in your everyday life. These are the terminators. They destroy data that reaches the end of the main cable to prevent the bouncing back of signals. So you may be wondering, what are the advantages of the bus topology? Well, that's what I'm here for. The bus topology is much easier to maintain than other network topologies. Why? It is very easy to pinpoint wherever the problem is occurring. For example, if there is a problem in the trunk cable, we'll know because all the systems will be shut down. If there's a problem in one of the drop cables, we would know because only that system will be shut down. Another advantage of the bus topology is that it is much cheaper than other topologies such as the ring, the hybrid, and the mesh. Why is that? Because all you need for a bus topology is a trunk cable, a main cable, your drop cables, your two terminators, and if you need, a file server. Disadvantages. System damage. If there is a break in the main cable, this can cause the entire unit to go down. Long-term maintenance can cause this to be very expensive. Quantity of nodes. Limited cable lengths limit the amount of nodes that can be attached. A large quantity of nodes also causes the overall speed of the system to decrease. Oh no, Kayla. What if there's a break in the cable? Hmm. Well, if there's a break in the trunk cable, then the entire system's going to go down. However, if there's a break in one of the drop cables, then only the node connected to it will malfunction. The rest of the system will be just fine. Now, you may be wondering, why choose the bus topology over other topologies? Well, the bus topology is really for small businesses, you see? First of all, it's very cheap, given that you don't have a large quantity of nodes, because all you need is the main cable and the drop cables. Also, the bus topology, it sends information back and forth between two terminators, and the transfer of this information is actually very quick. So once you don't have a lot of nodes connected, then the speed of the bus topology will be very great. Also, if you are growing business and you're constantly adding new operating systems, operating machines, like computers, then the addition of nodes is very simple. And the bus topology is also one of the easiest to maintain. As stated before, it is easier to pinpoint issues. Listen, you know, I think I want the bus topology, but what special hardware will I need? Well, the trunk cable and the two terminators are the only two special pieces of hardware needed for the bus topology. There's no more! <laughs>